This is a million people city Wuxi near Shanghai in China. And this is Wuxi too, and both places are not even 11 kilometers from each other apart. But let's start from the beginning. Welcome to Wuxi, a dynamic city that's alive with excitement and bursting with life. With its towering skyscrapers, busy streets and a bustling population of over 4 million friendly inhabitants, Wuxi is a colorful canvas of modern marvels. Everything you need for a good life is here. Schools, hospitals, good jobs and more. Plus, Wuxi sits right next to the beautiful Taihu Lake, has its own airport, and is close to Shanghai. But there's more to the city than meets the eye. Wuxi isn't just about the bus. It's a place where traditional culture seamlessly intertwines with the excitement of modern life. Here you will find a rich tapestry of experiences that cater to all your desires. The economic engine of Wuxi roars with excellence, offering abundant opportunities for success. And when it comes to culinary delights, Wuxi's flavors are as diverse as its people, a true feast for the senses. Living in this vibrant metropolis comes with its own breathtaking pace. The city pulses with energy day and night, but hold on, life here can get pretty fast and exhausting. There's always something happening, from work to play, and it can sometimes feel overwhelming. So picture this. A long time ago, in 1694, Wuxi was a completely different kind of place. Even Emperor Kangxi, who lived in faraway Beijing, fell in love with the calm and quiet of rural Wuxi. He is said to have visited six times, escaping the hustle and bustle. Back then, the city was much smaller, very quiet, and life moved much slower. Back then, the city was much smaller, very quiet, and life moved a lot slower. Imagine how relaxing that must have been. Now, let's fast forward to today. That's where Chenxiawan village comes into the picture. A beautiful and quiet escape nestled just a short drive of less than 30 minutes away from Wuxi city center. Imagine stepping into a world where time slows down and the worries of the city are left far behind. Where time slows down and the worries of the city are left far behind. Chenjiawan is a charming village surrounded by sprawling tea plantations, fruit gardens that burst with color and the serene embrace of Qilongshan's green mountains. In this close-knit community, the pulse of life beats in harmony with nature. Villagers, mainly farmers, have created a haven of tranquility where they grow their own food and cultivate a strong bond with the land. But it's not just the locals who find solace here. Some city inhabitants also come to Chenjiawang seeking a refuge from the urban hustle. The village's organic bounty from juicy tangerines to crunchy salads and even the clucking of chickens is a treat for the senses. Chenjiawang offers a slice of rural life right within the city's reach, a sanctuary where the spirit finds solace and the soul finds nourishment. That is one of the reasons why I decided to make Wuxi my home. The combination of bustling energy and serene escapes is a rare gem that I hold dear. From the grandeur of modernity to the simplicity of rural charm. Wuxi is a city that knows how to cater to every facet of life. It's a place where cultural heritage walks hand in hand with progress, where traditions are celebrated and the future is embraced. So come with me on this journey as we explore the vibrant heartbeats of Wuxi, the vibrant energy, the tranquil retreats and everything in between. It's a city of contrasts, a city of harmony and a city that's more than just a place, it's a way of life. Flowers and berries along the wayside as well as beautiful mountains full of lush green trees 
tea fields and a lot of places where nature still can be nature. Today is 35 degrees, but if you go under these trees, it is a really wonderful, moist climate, much cooler than these 35 degrees Celsius. And the beauty lies at the, the roadside. this place is so quiet even within the week when this very hectic travel and traffic everywhere in the city is going on that is for example a cistern to collect the rainwater coming down the mountain because everything you can collect you don't need to bring up the mountain to water the tea plants The view is very relaxing for the city people's eyes because you can see things far away, you have a lot of green in your view and your soul just feels much better at that view than if everything is full of concrete. coming to that place since two years now I also really late discovered it but it gives me always freedom in my heart and I'm relaxing a lot uh, and that is the entrance to a tunnel because we are totally surrounded by the city and this group of mountains is very big actually and people prefer to go through this tunnel instead of going over the mountain it's still used by villagers i heard from the villagers that it was created in the korea war and it was actually from the army to protect some food and the other resources and to move troops in the case of the cases much quicker between the different valleys of the mountains. think about this view. I enjoy it every moment. Ah, by the way, in this tunnel are also several rooms where the villagers, the farmers now are growing some mushrooms. And they really use it regularly to bring things to the market on the other side of the mountain. Next time I also want to take some flashlights and go with you in this tunnel. Some villagers busy about some household chores. Life is very quiet and very slow here. 
sees this interesting fence. I think it is not very expensive, but it is very effective. didn't climb on the mountain these days because here down in the valley with the tea plantation there is enough to see for today I think. Every year the villagers are harvesting the tea and send it to process in a small factory and actually I tried it, it's very delicious. On top you can see the fresh leaves coming. These have a very fine aroma. I could sit here for hours and watch just this fascinating landscape, small animals and tons of different plants. Seeing this view, a lot of people frequently forget how near is the city. And of course the villagers are growing a lot of very tasty food, mostly even organic, like the ducks, chicken, their eggs, a lot of fresh salad and a lot of different fruits as well. But this is some villagers vegetable garden. People here don't care much about getting rich, getting a very great career because they are actually very happy with what they have. And in my opinion, it is the biggest gift to be allowed to live in that kind of place and enjoy all this nature and all this beauty of the place. Just now that was bamboo. And yeah, that was our lunch in that day. Here are some fresh nectarines, some figs. And by the way, even the air feels much fresher and cleaner in that place. I guess the trees are really cleaning the air and producing a lot of oxygen. Those are some nectarines as well, fix again, which are very sweet and so yummy. Please don't tell everybody about this place. It's so great that it's mostly untouched and unknown by the city people. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and staying till the end. If you liked what you have seen, then please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>